All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna to show you a program that you can download that will free up resources in the background of your computer, making it so Warzone or any game for that matter takes priority when it comes to your PC's resources. It will literally optimize the CPU for the game that you're playing, and it even automatically assigns dedicated CPU cores strictly to the game or application that you have running. It also has a bunch of other functions that I'll briefly go over, so if you're looking for ways to make Warzone or any other game run smoothly, then this video is gonna be for you. Now, unfortunately, this is another video for PC. Console players, I am sorry. I will have videos that apply to console coming soon. I'm actually putting out a video about a trick I discovered a while back for controlling recoil. I've never seen anybody else ever talk about this. So if you have heavy thumbs like I do, be on the lookout for that. It can definitely help with long range recoil control, especially if maybe you're one of those people who suddenly have to control recoil, you know who you are. And then I've also got a PC video on something for NVIDIA users that you can enable to help increase frame rates and overall stability. It works for a lot of people. I was one of them who noticed the difference. Be on the lookout for that and make sure you're subscribed so you get the notification. Now, the program that I'm talking about is the Omen Gaming Hub. You can download it for free in the Microsoft Store. So if you're on Windows, just go down to the bottom of your desktop, select a little Windows shopping bag icon, and then just type in the search bar Omen Gaming Hub. Once you see this here, you're gonna click on it and then select where it says Get. Now, once you've downloaded and installed it, you're gonna see a page similar to this. Now, there are other programs out there that do similar things. Razer has one, and then there's something called Standby List that's a little bit more complicated. I like this because of the options and the versatility it gives you. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple optional features such as network boosting that are only available on HP computers. What it does is it lets you decide the priority of your internet bandwidth for the game or application that you're running, and it gives you a choice between high, medium, and low, and then it tells your PC how much bandwidth it should give a certain game. I use this a lot when I was on my old streaming PC because it was a computer made by HP. Since it was more of a lower end system, it helped a lot with making sure I had enough internet bandwidth for any game that I was playing. Now there's also a feature called Dual Force. It allows you to run ethernet and Wi-Fi to the game at the same time, strengthening your connection. Unfortunately, on my new gaming PC, I don't have these options either. It's not an Omen PC. I am gonna look to see if I can find a program that will do something similar, and then I'll definitely make a video on it. So keep your eyes open for that. Now, the feature that makes this program worth downloading and helps the game run a lot smoother, it's called Booster. You'll see it under the Optimizer section. Everyone should have access to this. You can have it either automatically boost the games once you start playing, or you can do it manually. Once you click on the Booster tab, you should see a page like this. Down here at the bottom, you'll see the total amount of RAM your system has, the amount being used, and then the amount of RAM left over that you can leave for the game. This feature can really help, especially if you're on a lower end system that doesn't have a lot of RAM left over, especially for memory intensive games. Now under this first tab, you should have something like seven different options you can check off. Clipboard memory, disable auto updates, disable file and printer sharing, disable hotkeys, memory boost, and then processor core affinity optimization and processor optimization. Now these last two features are the CPU buffs that I talked about in the intro. The first one if checked called processor core affinity optimization, it'll automatically dedicate your CPU's fastest cores to the game or the app that you have boosted, in theory making the game run much smoother. In this bottom one called processor optimization, it'll automatically optimize your CPU you for performance and disable any energy saving features. It's sort of like a poor man's CPU overclock and it can help a lot for you guys that are on medium to lower end systems. I use both every time I play and I'm on a 3090 with a Ryzen 9 5900X. Just make sure all these are checked with the only exception being hotkeys if that's something you use for streaming or something else. Now this next tab is all the programs that you can turn off in the background. You can select them all if you want, but I would just recommend that you go through and make sure you're not running any programs while you play. Something like Discord, for example, or even OBS if you're streaming. Whatever you don't want closed down, just make sure you leave it unchecked. Now this next section is all your PC diagnostic and update functions, maintenance cycles for your computer, and just things you don't want running in the background while you're playing. The only one to be aware of is this SSTP SVC. If you guys are using a VPN, just make sure you leave this unchecked or it won't work. You won't be able to access certain servers. Now this last section is the advanced services. I used to have all of them checked on my old PC. I was streaming and playing on that computer. I didn't notice any problems, but I do recommend you go through these and try to look at what they do. I don't know what program you're running on your computer everybody's different but worst comes to worst once you stop boosting everything should just return to normal now you're probably going to see a bunch of weird pages start popping up don't be alarmed it's just your pc re-enabling the disabled features you can just start xing them out just be aware
aware there are some VPN and server things in here that might affect you if you're using a VPN, I would just take the time and read through it for yourself. Now, once you have everything checked under these four tabs, you wanna come down here and select manual boost. I use manual just so I can make sure everything's still checked. But once you do this once, you shouldn't have to keep doing it every time you play. Sometimes though, the PC or the app will update and then it resets itself and then you might have to do it again. Once you get them how you want them, you should probably take a screenshot. That way there, it'll make it easier and faster next time you have to do it. Now, this app can easily give you a little frame increase and make Warzone or any other game smoother and a little bit more responsive. Now, this app has other features like RGB light control, voice chat control, and game capture. I don't really use any of that, so I'm not gonna go over it. The only thing I do use sometimes is the PC cleaner, where it'll scan, clean, optimize, and defrag your computer. Give it a shot, who knows, it might help. Like I said before, I am gonna try to find a program that'll perform similar to the network booster. Just be on the lookout for that. Hopefully this helps with this frustrating game or any other game you guys play. I highly recommend you give it a shot. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, follow me over on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Warzone 2, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more short, straight to the point videos like this. I'll catch you next time, and if not, kick rocks. Peace. Kick rocks, be